we're live. I'm live. Alex is in the middle of a. Uh, well, Try to. He's recording at the moment, but um, I'm gonna wait, see who comes here. Just give me a few seconds. Uh, continue to do your thing while I get this link live on uh, Facebook. <laughs> I'll just let Batman keep you uh, company for a minute. Who joined us? We have one person. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I'm going to try to get this video link onto uh, Facebook so people over there can come on over here. Welcome. Two people. Say hi if, if, uh, if you'd like. Because it doesn't show you. We're, this is our first time live streaming on YouTube. So I'm not seeing who is joining us just yet. But let's see. I click. Where I can see. Hmm. I don't know. Chat viewing options. Well, if you're there, please say hi. I'd love to know who is with us right now. And then I'm going to go find this link. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Share. Copy. How is everybody doing? Welcome to At Home with the Fiddler. I'm Aria. I'm Alex's fiance. Um, some of you may know me. And Alex is mixing right now. He's mixing some drums for his friend, uh, a new track for his friend, our friend, Danny Fernelius, who's a singer from Flint, Michigan. And uh, he's done, Alex has played the drums and several other tracks on this new tune. Um, I don't know if I can say, I don't know if he wants the, the title out there yet, so I'll just leave it there. But he's working hard. We're doing everything we can just to, to keep going from home. And um, we know it's weird out there right now. This is kind of our normal life, being at home a lot, recording and teaching and the occasional obviously gig alex all of those are canceled at the moment um one minute live now okay shared and we're good let's see what happens okay welcome everybody um how are you <laughs> I'm drinking uh, some tea right now because we're supposed to keep our everything moist, drink lots of liquids, all that warm stuff. I'm gonna take you inside to where Alex is uh, mixing a tune and maybe he'll, he'll say hi. We have three people, welcome. I don't know who y'all are. I don't know if you care about this or not because if you know me, maybe you care. But over here, growing my uh, armor garden and I'm very excited about it. I have lots and lots of plants, little seedlings, and uh, they're on their way. Like, this is, like, I didn't know I could do this, but look, it's tomatoes. They're actually growing. I'm very happy. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Alex is up to. We're going to go inside now. Follow me. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hello. I'm bringing YouTube inside to you at the moment. Or would you like to come outside to YouTube? <laughs> uh oh. I was just getting ready to salute our sponsors. Oh. At Patreon. Thank so, you. Yeah. Especially to Michael Tubb, who was kind enough to listen to me play. Believe it or not, we're still Cheers. kind of thinking that we're getting ready for an audition, and uh, I'm still behaving in such a way that would suggest that. So, after a long day. Here's to you, Michael Tubb, and the rest of our sponsors. You can name them. Uh, let's go through them. We've got Sheila R. Yes. Sheila R. Sheila R. Wade. Who yes. else have we got? I, off the top of my head right now, like, now that you're asking, I'm not a name. <laughs> i got to go through the list. Kate Byrne is on there. Her dad is also on there. Both of the um, Burns, uh, Catherine and, and her dad, um, David? No, that's the same. Tom. Tom. Tom Byrne. And Michael Tubb. 
and we know there's many there's a few few more of you out there and we're gonna list those but cheers to all of you thank you for uh joining us on youtube i saw a couple people say hi i'm gonna put this down here this is very casual right now alex is currently mixing some drums i was telling them about that what you're doing right now and um yeah, we want to see. I saw a couple people say hi, but now I can't see their chat. Oh, Sharon and Eugenia. Sharon Bartley. Hi, Sharon. And Eugenia Prieto. A Eugenia. Eugenia. Sorry. Eugenia. Eugenia. Beautiful uh, girl from uh, Puerto Vallarta. Oh. Is yeah. she a musician? Yes, violinist. Oh, awesome. And hi, Sharon. Hello, Sharon. You're beautiful, too. <laughs> You're all beautiful. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so... As I said, this is going to be pretty casual. Um, nothing completely planned. We just want to know how you guys... Oh, Eugenia said, yes! Uh, we want to know how you guys are coping with staying at home. Are you getting extra practicing in? Are you freaking out? Like, oh, she said, I love you both. We love you too. That is very sweet. There's a lot of love in this world right now. We're realizing uh, we, we need to, to spread the love. All you need is... While staying at home. All you need is love. Sharon says, you know me as Sherry or Sherry. Oh, oh, it's Sherry Bartley. Oh, Ale, yeah, yeah, Ale yeah. House. Ale House Bartley. That's the full uh, Facebook name. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Um, so I promised Alex he would keep kind of getting to work at the same time as doing this. Uh, but I'm going to be here. <laughs> I'm going to be here to, to uh, intermediate and... Uh, you know, take comments, questions, concerns. I thought it was over already. Is it over? You know, Alexander Depew, this one, I'm telling you. Anyways, um, yeah. So we're we're uh, doing our best. It's weird, even though we we stay home a lot. I'm feeling the tension of the world right now. I'm feeling. I think Alex is too. We're kind of yeah. like. Wow, the news, just the news alone. Here's a lick. spot there and you tighten That's up. him playing. Playing That one. So, this is pretty much what at home with the fiddler is like uh, regularly, like on a daily basis. Him, him at the computer doing his thing or playing something or practicing. And, uh, so you guys can see what it's all about, what it all boils down to. And, uh, it's a music factory. It is a music, he's a music factory. And I am, I'm here to cheer him on. I mean, I do, you know, I do my part when I can. It's kind of an interesting drum track in as much like most of it is felt in a swing kind of feel with triplets. Mm -hmm. Like actual triplets if you're gonna put them on the grid with Pro Tools. Uh, and try to straighten them out at all. So from this kind of a, this is my snare roll. So that's got like the, the swan eighths.
snare drum sounds great. These, uh, these drums are mic'd upstairs. So we can connect via a long snake. It, it's way longer than I needed it to be. And it stretches like 75 feet Jeez. worth of snake. Wow. Just the, the cable alone was like $2,000. And it's installed within the walls of the apartment here. It's a condominium. So two bedrooms, three and a half baths, and modified. Like we flew in an extra line of electricity. Actually, let's just show them that. Show them what? Let's show them. Are you going to go upstairs? No. Oh. Uh, well, we can. Why? No, it's okay, cause I have you don't want me to go upstairs? No. <laughs> now I've got the controls. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I don't know how to flip it. How do you flip it? That's just my big, ugly mug right now. No, this little thing. Okay. So this is Avni Studios. Welcome. Avni Studios. And behind door number one, we have a pantry. Mm -hmm. But even more important is the extra line of electricity wow. that I had them fly into this house, goes through the wall, goes all the way through these cupboards up here. Oh, there's Aria. <laughs> I hung that up the other night. Goes through these walls, silently through these cupboards, all the way through here. Oh, don't mind our security camera. <laughs> uh, moving on past, and if you look behind that drum head, which is there for de decoration, that's where we, like, flew the rest of the line of electricity to provide those outlets down there. All of the outlets with frames around them were specifically modified for this condominium, and we're really happy about that part because it supplies us with enough power to run all of this, which is cool stuff that's cool stuff those focales alone take up a lot of electricity not to mention the avalon of course the other power amps we have this keyboard under here this is a nord stage piano and uh it has midi sensitivity to it midi controls for different sounds i'm right now i'm trying to find a b3 organ for this project that we're doing this is again our friend Danny Fernelius. And when we add, let's go ahead and add a few instruments. And you can dig the feel between the swung eighths versus the um, straight eighths at the very end. We can just let that roll. Is that cool? Yeah. So here's the bass. <laughs> Go to straight. Straight in the last chords. Okay. Last chord. Great sound. There's the news, which is always on at this house right now.
to do. But that's where the groove immediately goes straight, straight on. <laughs> the other instruments aren't quite there yet. Okay. Well, he's quite the perfectionist. Some of these instruments I think it are, sounds great. They're still swinging while everybody else is going straight. So is that like a, a tool that you use and that musicians use like the, to go from swung to suddenly everybody's like in sync straight? Like how does that change up the vibe? Uh That's a good question, you know, like um I'm trying to think of some examples, you know, like a lot of two steps I can think of right offhand. Of course, you know, with the polka, that's a, a whole different art form in and of itself. Like the Chicago style polka is often very straight for the verses. Jugga, 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 jugga. And then when we open up and the accordions start doing their belly shake, I forget what it's called. I think it's a belly shake. Really? Bellow shake, Bell not belly. Oh. Bellow, bellow <laughs> shake, because of the bellows of the accordion. Uh, that's when the drummer opens up and goes to the the right cymbal, and you know it, it gets a little more swung out at that point. Oh, Chicago so. style polkas are the way to go. So if goes, you're into polkas at all, go hmm. for Chicago style <laughs> as opposed to East Coast style. Ooh, sounds like. Fighting words there. East Coast style <laughs> is the guy, the, like the guy who wins all the Grammys for polkas every single time. So it would seem his name's Jimmy Stir. Wow. I think he's still around, and I feel like only he would know that. Yeah, Hold I'm on. your go-to for all polka needs. Well, this has taken a lot of work so far. <laughs> insists on doing these live things even though uh, how many people are there well you're the five. one who wanted to switch there over to face uh, to youtube he's the one who wanted to try youtube and so. we're on youtube good we're on youtube good so that's a whole different ball game that we you know who's on youtube all day versus who's on facebook all day that's Everybody. a good question for all y'all is what are you, what do you spend more time on youtube or facebook and where are you more inclined to watch a live video please leave that in the comments also, how are you staying sane during your uh, self-isolation quarantine? Eugenia. Facebook. Facebook. All right. We all got right. one vote so far. She definitely counts. Thank you. Thank you, Eugenia. Um, where do you sp And how are you staying sane during your quarantine self-isolation? What are you doing to keep yourself going? This is how he stays sane. Music. I wish I could pour myself into it like that. Every time I'm, like, emotional or stressed, he's like, go practice. And I'm like, it makes, I don't, I don't have that mindset yet where that helps channel but that does channel something for him so yeah what about you guys sometimes practice can make you even more anxious <laughs> yeah it Depending makes it, me know. yes definitely sherry says on both but probably facebook a little more huh and then eugenia says but youtube let me know when you're online so she switches well that's okay. nice thank you for me i i'm staying sane by gardening right now I don't know what it is, but something about just working with the earth. Bill Thomas, he's Hi, a supporter. Uh, he says, I'm on, but I've been trying for 25 bin minutes, just wouldn't hook up. Welcome. Oh, no kidding. Welcome, Bill. Thanks for making it work. Thanks for trying. Yes. Um, we are here just to, he's working on a track, and we might wrap this up pretty soon. It's supposed to be casual. Just want to check in with you guys and see what you're doing to get through this quarantine because we don't know how long it's going to last. And we're trying to, like, not focus on it, but you, how can you help it? You know, it's everywhere. 
I, d I did want to mention that it, it, only on YouTube and specifically for patrons, patrons over there at Patreon, uh, we went ahead and gave out, we released our first tutorial for violinists. So be, be, be they beginners or professionals, it is called the pinky ex exercise and I think you'll really find it valuable. Uh, you know, it's just an exercise that if you were to do that every day, you're going to end up with a, a nice, strong pinky, this muscle right here for your left hand so that it can be nice and curved. The pinky exercise is actually doing pretty well on YouTube, so check that out. Yeah, it's great. We've gotten some good feedback on that. And he's going to do another one soon. I will see to it. <laughs> As Sherry said, she's been deemed an essential worker, so she does have to go to work. But oh, the, wow. their music classes are being switched to online. So um, what are you using for that? Zoom, I've heard a lot of good things about Zoom. Is that what you're using or something else? We'd love to know. And I'd like to, we'd now like to thank our Patreon supporters because we have that up, that list up here. So you want to give a shout out to those people? Sure, yeah. Uh, Michael Tubb, of course. Uh, James Long. Matt Bell, thank you, Matt Bell. Rick Skorienko, Skorienko, Skorienko. I hope I'm saying that right, but we appreciate your support, Rick. Uh, Terry Long, Vonnie Quinn, and the Burns, and then Sarah Berger. Thank you. A big thank you for your support here. So check it out, Patreon. And while you're here, YouTube, please follow, like, and subscribe. To this video, subscribe to his channel. The more uh, subscribers we have, the more it helps us. It helps him. Um, we really appreciate it. Well, plus you get to know when we release stuff. I mean, that's yeah. how you will know. And also ring that bell, mm -hmm. especially ringing the bell. You can't ring the bell without subscribing, I don't think, or at least I hope not. And that's a good point, yeah. Michael says gardening has been his favorite therapy for years now. I, I feel you. I love it. It's just so... Um, Having that hands-on thing, it's very relaxing. But yeah, subscribe, ring the bell. He has tons of content that's gonna be coming out soon. Like, really? way too much. We're trying to swim through it right now, trying to keep our heads above water, no pun intended. Just uh, trying to figure out what to what to post next. And um, Oh, okay. I know exactly what to post next. Okay, well, I'm glad he knows yeah, exactly it'll be what a workout with C major, you know, three octave scale. That's what you have to look forward to. We'll do that with the metronome also. So for you violinists out there who wish to warm up with me, uh, that's coming very soon exclusively to Patreon. We release them privately first for Patre patrons. Patre how do you say Patreon. That? Patrons. Patreon patrons. subscribers. Patrons only. <laughs> And then we'll go ahead and let them out, you know, for the rest of the uh, here and there society for people to yeah, uh, get a taste. Yeah, He'll because have a little right background. now they, they only get eight views by the time our patrons watch them. So we're looking for more than that. But uh, it's going to be a fair balance. And for those patrons who are signed up, you're going to end up with all kinds of benefits as the result of that uh, VIP treatment, yeah. if you will. patreoncom Alex Depew. Check it out. And again, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Like him on Facebook. Um, us. It's now us, okay. Aria. You're liking us. You're yes. subscribing to us. Where's my name on the, on the banner? <laughs> I bought the Mazas exercise today for a quarantine workout. Mazas. <laughs> Very good. Do you know Mazas. That, yeah, do you know what sure. that is? Sure. There's gonna, That's a fine book. You're going to have a lot of time, so make sure to check it out. And also, if you haven't taken advantage of a free lesson uh, with Alex over Skype yet, you know, email the fiddler LLC at gmail.com. Yeah. We, we can we can hook you up. We we hook you up with the first session completely free of charge, just to see if you like me, and I like you, and we'll see if it's a fit, and then going forward from there, uh, we can work out exactly what will be the plan. Um, yeah, and with Patreon subscriptions come some lesson packages as well, and other other online. We benefits. did pick up, we picked up three students last week as the result of an email blast. And they're all three of them are just, well, the two are just precious, those two little girls. Yeah. And then uh, we have another... Young uh, lady. Yes, another young lady who's doing just fabulously well after her first session. I have yet to hear her this week. 
but uh, it's still early on in the week, so. As uh, we last told you, Alex was working towards his audition for San Diego Symphony, and that has now been postponed till the fall. But he's still working. Till the fall. Fall, yeah. It was supposed to be this past weekend, but he is still working just as hard on all the material because he's not giving up. Uh, oh, no. We are holding up and doing our part to, to flatten the curve, but once everybody's released again, he's, he's going to be on it. So keep us... And your, you know, prayers, good wishes, all that jazz. And, um, yeah, please tell your friends. Uh, also, let us know how to support you. Like, if you are a musician and you have a channel or you have, a, you know, a Facebook page or something, uh, we can all support each other in this time. We can watch our videos. We can share. We can laugh. We can cry. We can do all that <laughs> stuff that we need to do. Scream. <laughs> Uh, garden, sing. I'm learning on the ukulele. I don't know if some of you know, but I am the voice of, I'm an actress. I've been an actress since I was a kid. And I'm the voice of Ducky from the Land Before Time movies, number 5 through 14, and the TV series. I always specify. And I'm learning the uh, theme song from Land Before Time. It's called If We Hold On Together. I'm learning it on the ukulele. I've already sung a version of it when I was little. I was about eight or nine. So I'm going to redo it, and I think it's a good song for this, for these times. And we will all go down together. Is that it? It's not it, no. That's not it? No. <laughs> That's a Billy Joel song. Cool. Well, um, unless, okay, Sherry's leaving. It's good to see you both. Bye, Sherry. I think we'll probably wrap this up, too, because uh, Alex has more work to do, and. Well, well have fun, yeah. It'll continue to be fun. We'll continue to do these. And we just need a little, you know, it's been a few weeks of reorganizing our plan. And that's what we're doing. So we're going to be either coming over to YouTube more often or Facebook. Let us know which one you like better. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Bill. Stay safe, too. Hi, Renee. Oh, good to see your, good to see your name pop up. We're wrapping up right now, but uh, we'll be back. And Debbie, I'm glad you came over too. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you too. Um, thanks for joining us over here. Uh, we will be back next week, hopefully, and we'll keep you updated, and we'll have some new material to, uh, to work on soon. So peace, love, health, and uh, happiness to all of you. Take care. I'll f and now i got to figure out how to end this video, so give me a second. I'm looking <laughs> dumb. I'm Bye. Bye. Bye.